From Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News. Big changes on the way in your long-term forecast, but we'll have Greg D talk about today, and hopefully we continue a great stretch of weather. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Let's get to your ABC Action News headlines. First up, two cruise ship passengers have died after contracting coronavirus. They were on that Diamond Princess ship, the same ship as a couple from Crystal River. The passengers who died were in their 80s, passed away in the hospital. Japan's health ministry said that on Thursday they confirmed that news. Princess Cruises, which owns Diamond Princess, expressed their sincere condolences. The U.S. has already brought home more than 300 people from that cruise ship, including the quarters, the local couple. We have been talking about. They are now in quarantine at the military base in Texas. Two people are safe after crashing their car into a pond last night. It happened at Palm River in South Falkenburg in Tampa. You can see that the front part of the car is partially submerged in the water. Officials say the two people inside able to get out safely. No word on what caused that crash. Roger Stone is set to be sentenced today for lying to Congress. President Trump's longtime friend and former campaign advisor is now in D.C. after flying out from Florida overnight. Stone was found guilty as part of a probe into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. Two more children in Florida have died from the flu this season, bringing the total now to nine. And for the first time, we're learning that one of those kids who passed away did get the flu shot. The latest map from the Florida Health Department shows Pinellas County's back in the orange, meaning that flu activity levels have dropped from elevated to moderate. Hillsborough, Pasco and Manatee counties all reporting moderate but increasing levels. Health officials say they expect flu activity to remain high for the next several weeks. MGM Resorts just reported a massive data breach. The company says that over 10 million people who stayed with them are affected here. They say the hackers did not get credit card info and they did were able to notify guests of the breach. Well, Pinellas County needs lifeguards and pay starts at nearly $14 an hour. They're hiring for both full and part time positions for April through September. They will be stationed at Fort DeSoto, Sand Key and Fred Howard Parks. Candidates should apply online and should be able to swim 500 meters in under 10 minutes and run a mile in under eight minutes. Also, it's required to have lifeguarding and CPR certifications. All public sub sandwiches go on sale today. They'll cost just $5.99. The sale lasts through Sunday. If you're planning to grab a sub for lunch or dinner, you may want to order online. Skip those lines, which of course we know, Greg, can be long because everybody in Florida knows about the pub subs. Yeah, online is the way to go. Walk in, pick up and get out of there. Hello, everybody. Temperatures today perfect to have that pub sub outside in a favorite shady spot. Temperatures in the low 80s. There will be a slight chance for a shower anytime during the afternoon as the sea breeze moves in. But a huge change in our weather tomorrow. Take a look at your forecast in the ABC Action News app.